Let's first talk about U2. U2 is easier, right? Control rotation. Yeah. So if you want to do some certain uh, control rotation, hmm. what you will do is this. Because when it is zero, hmm. uh, hold on. when it is zero, right? Hmm. Then you apply the gate, right? If it is, uh, you don't apply the gate, right? No, you it's for one. One yeah. identity, right? Mm -hmm. When it is one, then you apply the gate. Yeah. And that is how you do it. You hmm. first form the matrix of zero. Hmm. This one gives you one, zero, 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 zero. Hmm. Right? And then you tensor product with I. Then okay. plus one, and then tensor product with U. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. And that's okay. why if you look at this, when you say outer, huh? it means zero, zero, outer product. Okay. Right? This is one, one. You can one. check. Yeah, you go back to check what is outer one, right? You will see that. Right? Uh -huh. So now you see that what it is doing is it do a, a tensor product huh. of one and of identity gate, right? Huh? For the uh uh, okay, and of course in Kiskit, this is the mm. most significant bit, right? This is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Huh? It, it follows the, uh, the paper you read, it follows the little Indian method, like from the bottom to top, right? No, oh, it's still need, mm. a little Indian, Indian but, but the most significant, significant uh, because uh, when it um, uh, measures, it measures the bottom one first, right? Yeah, so it's Q3, right? This is most significant bit okay. in Kiskit. <laughs> but, but I think in our code, it's opposite or it's the same. I forgot. In our code, maybe uh, in the code, in the MATLAB code, I think hmm. we use this. Uh, let me see if that's right. In our code. Right, so anyway, let, let's see what it does. Right, you start Should with I the, open the code? Uh, no, let, let's just look at this. I'm a little bit confused now. Uh, where's CU1, okay. first control, second control? Why? Okay, let me write it down that we know what's going on. So this one, what it does is, Hmm. Tensor product identity against this one, right? Mm -hmm. And then one more tensor product with I. Hmm. And then you add them together, right? This is U2. Mm -hmm. Tensor hmm. product of this one. And then tensor product of I. Hmm. Right? Do you see that? And then the whole thing, we do the tensor product. Okay, so okay. that is the last one, it is hmm. zero. The last one. I think we are following it. One, two, three. Okay. This is uh Q zero, right? Hmm. So you, you see that uh that's how we do it when it hmm. is zero, then we just use I I. I. Okay. Yeah, because this is Q three, right? Yeah. When it is one, we tensor plot the Q three with hmm. U two. And this is also I. Okay. okay. Yeah, so that yeah. is how you do it. You need to decompose in this way. Similarly, okay. for the C1, right? You also huh. do a tensor product of I first, huh. and then with outer zero, right? It means for zero, we don't do anything. Okay. And then you tensor product with one I, hmm. and then outer, right? Hmm. And then the whole thing, you do I. Right? Mm -hmm. So this again is Q zero, right? The whole thing is I. Yeah. And then you see that when it is one in Q2, mm -hmm. you get Q3 using Q1. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's how you do the tensor pro. You need to use this to build a matrix. Yeah. So it's a little bit troublesome, but you can see the rule, right? You can just follow the rule here, uh, the equation here. Hmm. Right. And so you can write a for loop to do the tensor product. So for any gate, hmm. um, 
yeah, it, it might not be too general. It would be difficult to program at the first time. So I would suggest you to build a library. Mm -hmm. So you have a, just at the beginning, you call whatever, call, whenever you encounter a new gate, for example, you see this gate, right? Yeah. You, you just call this maybe uh, C U one, my C U one three, for example. Then it means it's the first bit controlling the third bit. Okay. Okay. And then you just have the matrix there. Okay. And in the future, when our framework is good enough, we can then have a more automatic generation. But for now, just mm -hmm. keep doing this and then you try to map to the IBM key. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one question. Uh, like uh, this will be a similar process for the uh, rightmost circuit for this uh, gate control not get which has which is like in uh, uh yeah. q0 and q2 yeah. right this will be same so, right yeah so this is what you do right q3 q2 q1 mm -hmm. q0 right mm -hmm. so can you tell me what is the first circuit how would you do it uh this one is uh swap i don't know no, just this first one, not swap. No, this is control not. Yeah, haha, uh -huh, you're going to, to do it. Uh, control like not and uh, for uh, zero, it will be one, uh, one set, no, no. Uh, one form. No, no. And, huh? oh, okay, when it is zero, you apply one, apply identity. Yeah. Identity and for one, uh, I, I, I will apply this uh, another matrix. Yeah, so how would you write the equation like what I just did? Okay. Um, first, uh, it will be, um, for zero, it will be, this one will be I. Q0. Yeah, can you say how do you write the equation? Not just I, not just say verbally. How are you going to write down for zero, it is I? I tensor product of outer, uh, like a zero, zero. Okay, uh, but which one is the controlling qubit? Controlling qubit is Q1. So which one should go first? This is the two endian, right? Okay. So from Q3? Yeah. Okay. So let's start, okay, from Q3. So what do you yeah. do? Uh, I tensor product, I tensor product uh, 0, 0. Uh, tensor product I. Yes, and then? And plus uh -huh. uh, I tensor product I tensor product outer one one and tensor product of the matrix of the uh, control not gate. The matrix of the not gate. Not yeah. Control not gate. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Not gate. Yeah. Actually, this one you can become just I tensor product I tensor product of the control not gate. You should get the same thing for this simple example. Oh, I see. But um, but these are like uh, not in the same shape. Like for the first one and the second one, it's uh, just quite the opposite. Like the control is in Q1 and that's for that one. For the second one, the control is in Q0. Yeah. So what should you do? Then for this one, what should you do? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like the way you write, wrote, like I control, I tensor product, I tensor product C naught. How I will do for this one? Then you don't um, do this one. Just go back to the basic. Uh -huh. What do you do? This one, oh, okay. I, uh, I tensor product, I uh, tensor product, I uh, tensor product outer zero, zero. Huh? Uh, plus I uh, tensor product, I uh, tensor product, uh, Outer, uh, no, 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 not outer one. one. It's a um, uh, uh, gate matrix for X and mm -hmm. then uh, a tensor product of outer one, one. Yeah, that's it. 